Hi, welcome back to Bouncers Boosters. The shipment has finally come in. Mystery Boosters. Much value, much quality from what I've been seeing through these packs. Now I've been waiting on this. The COVID situation and being an Australian has not helped the delivery get in with any good sort of time. Alright, so without further ado, let's crack on. Now, we know that there is some massive value in the rare slots, but there is also some pretty good value through the uncommon uncommon slots, especially in black. You know, we've got Bladewind the Risen for our multicolored. The Ronus Monument, a Dragon Mask, very nice, Sewer Nemesis, and an Undead War Chief, that lovely old foiling style, just beautiful to look at. And I'm not going to focus much on piles, if I get anything good that will get put separately to the others, but we'll continue on. Just passes Curse, Grim Discovery. Hmm, that's not too bad. Impact Tremors, Fun Card and Goblins, Farseek. Got a ramp up. Oh, the Azorius Charm. Goblin Burrows, Hunter of Eye Blights, and the Marari Conjecture with delay for the for the foil. Actually, I'll put the foils in their own piles. As they are very pretty to look at. But we continue on. A Chupacabra, a Blister Grub, Herbin Strike, the Matron, Venom Slither, Ancient Brontodon. Alright, we've got the Grim Contest, the Blighted Fen. Time serve. Now that is a good card. And Revel in Riches as well. And Shizo Death Storehouse. Now that's a good pack. Revel in Riches value has gone down due to its reprint here. Time serve. Great infinite turn combo with Thopter Assembly. And Shizo Death Storehouse is a great way to get your legendary creatures through. I have a deck that would go into perfectly. Alrighty, continuing on. Expedite, a fun little card. Alright, we've got the Naya Charm, a suspicious bookcase, the Dolmen Gate, and a Chasm Skulker with the Fungusaur for the rare. Which is a fun little rare, great way to get a very big creature very fast. I'm just going to put that there. What is that time sieve? For me, that is a good card that can come over to the side. You know, we've got Tarashi, Stave Off, Opportunity, the Marsh Hulk, a Firebolt. Alright, we have Fires of Yavimaya. Creatures you control have haste. Sacrifice the target creature gets plus two, plus two until end of turn. A benthic infiltrator. Can't be blocked. The font of mythos. Draw cards. Nin the pain artist. Also draw cards. And Zer's weirding. Now that is a very interesting card to play against. You see what everyone draws and you can pay life to stop them drawing it. Alright, Silencia Guild Mage, Prophetic Prism, Energy Field, Anger of the Gods, and a Foil Blasting Station. Very nice.
Alrighty, we've got the Dragonauts, a Whisper Silk Cloak, Martyr's Bond, Hornet's Nest, ooh, and the Luma Thread Field. I love the alternate framing they had with that series. Would have been so much cooler if they had have continued on. It'd be good to see it again, an alternate timeline where things that have happened in the main timeline went differently. Ghost Ship, reprint from the dark. Alrighty, we've got Bear's Companion, Arcane Sanctum, Ancient Den, the White Arcane, the Goblin Child Belcher, and the Gilda Barn. What's that? Two and Simic untap for each counter on target permanent. Put another one of those counters on that permanent. And on a Super Friends deck, that would be very one way to go very, very crazy. Alright, third of the way through. Still going. Still got plenty of cards to open. Altars Reap, Reckless Spirit, the Insolent Neonate. Commune with Nature. Right, we have the hidden stockpile. Herald's Horn, now there is a good card. Assemble the Legion, the Star of Extinction. And Maronora, legendary creature from Kamigawa. With the rats. Alrighty. Right, shrewd Hatchling, Unclaimed Territory. Ooh, the Dark Steel Garrison. And a Mimic Vat with another Lumi Thread Field. 121 different cards in that slot, and I've got a double up already. Alright, continuing. Right. Soul Manipulation, the Loxodon Warhammer, Nemesis of Reason, whenever it attacks, mill defending player 10, Odric the Lunark Marshal, with Mist Hollow Griffin, a foil mythic, it can be cast from exile, not a bad card, but having an exile is very specific to cast again. Alright, we have Jelectrode, the Mere Sire, the Weathered Wayfarer with the old form, and Alhamaret's Archive. Now that is another good mythic, and rocks for the foil. Ah, part of the infinite combo that plagued Kaladesh. Reflector Mage, the Dismal Backwater, the Guiltleaf Palace, and Collective Brutality, and the Springjack Shepherd. This creates a White Goat Devotion to White. Alrighty, continuing. That's not a bad card. Shattering Spree. One red. Destroy target artifact with replicate red. Great way to clear someone's artifacts. Alright, we have the Abzan Guide. Tectonic Edge. Contagion Clasp. The Arch of Arazka with the Noggle Bandit for the foil. 
Uh, so far, this box hasn't had anything overly crazy. But it's still only a matter of time before it drops something crazy. Like we have the Citadel Castellan, the Artisan of Kozlik, Crystal Shard, and Krenko the Mob Boss with Mind Funeral for the foil. Krenko is a much favoured commander for many goblin players due to the many ways to untap him and create stupid amounts of goblins. Alright, the River Hope, Forgotten Cave, Dragon Broodmother for a Mythic, and Elish Norn. Ooh! Now that's a good one. The Broodmother for a Mythic, which creates tokens with Devour 2. And Elish Norn, the White Praetor that just affects board states so well. And Bringer the Black Dawn, very nice. Now, according to some reports, if you pull an Elish Norn, you do get a Mana Vault. But we'll hold off, assuming that we will, until we actually get it. Oh, the Repentance Trainer, Fairy Conclave, Eater of Days, and Savala. Ooh, back to back, good mythics. Eater of Days comes into play, skip your next two turns. And another Mind Funeral. Alrighty, we're going all, having a very strong swing towards the back end of this box. Oh, and Call of the Nightwing, Rogue's Passage, Belby's Portal. When it comes into play, choose a creature type, three, tap, put a creature of the chosen type for your hand into play. And a Shamanic Revelation with Sundial of the Infinite for the foil. Very nice. We have the Aethercast Knight with Exalted, Moonglove Extract, Release the Ants, and the Deep Glow Skates with another Undead Warchief. Oop, wrong pile, that pile. Alright, we've only got four more packs after this one. So far, oh, Beast Within, there's a good one. So far, it's been pretty average from what I've been seeing. Lightning Helix, Diamond Mare, Crag and McCremator, Temporal Mastery. Now, there's a good one. Oop, and Celestial Kirin. Now, Temporal Mastery is great. The Helix is a good Boros spell. Alright, right, we've got the Vengeful Rebirth, Crumbling Necropolis, Mistform Shrieker, Decree of Justice, and another Shizo Death Storehouse. Now that's a double up that I don't mind seeing. Invigorate Broyhorn, we have the Zealous Persecution, the Akum Refuge, Minamorphos, there's a good one, Talia's Lancers, there's the same, and the Boreal Druid. Alright, that's a good finish to that pack, with Minamorphos and Talia's Lancers. Two packs to go. We have Sensor Splicer, Sir Eleonora, Sengir Vampire, classic. Harmonize. Alright, we have Lightning, Cold Steel Heart, 
Rashadden Footpad, Alicia Who Smiles at Death, and Ravenous Trap. If an opponent has three or more cards put into his graveyard from anywhere this turn, you may pay zero. Then pay the mana cost. Exile all cards from that library, from that graveyard. That from that library would be broken. Alright, last but not least. Here we go. Ooh, Hydra. We have the Armament Core, a Mindstone, the Violent Ultimatum, Gonti, Lord of Luxury, and another Xur's Weirding. Alrighty. Well, we got some decent cards through here. We got the Time Sieve, Herald's Horn, the Archive, Elish Norn, and Savala. Two of the more expensive cards in the deck. We did not get Armana Vault. But we still got some good cards through there. Thanks for watching. Bouncer out. Keep safe.